Okay, so we're doing another video of E. Alright, we got a steel BG55 leaf blower. And as you can see by the demonstration, insert video here of the demonstration. The situation is it idles good, but when you rev it up, it falls on its face. All right, we're going to start ripping this bad boy apart. What do we got here? A T27. All right. <clears throat> Never had this apart before, so I don't know what we're getting into. First thing I'm going to do, pull this off. Seems like the easiest thing to start doing. So, always start there. Uh, I got this unit from my neighbor who had delivered it to another fella to fix. And the guy had it for probably a year. Never even took a look at it. So, finally I went over there today and uh, picked it up from the guy and said you know what don't worry about it and he said ah yeah it needs a new carburetor or something so uh, he gave me a new bubble uh, that he had and so I got that in my pocket however this one worked just fine and to my surprise, the thing actually started right up and idled with no issue. So, I know that it starts and runs and idles. So, four bolts, this bad boy comes right off. Uh, I don't know that I had to take that off, to be quite honest. Uh, Take that off. It seems to me, probably didn't have to take that off. I'm just going to tell you that right now. So, it seems to me that we're just, it's uh, starving for fuel. That's what it seems like to me. So I'm thinking we need some more adjustment on this high end here. So my, what I'm going to do is break this fucking thing off of here. The screwdriver. So that this can be adjusted more than what that allows. Okay. So, because you only get so much. You only get like, burp, burp. Okay, so we're going to take that out, clean it out. All right, so now that that's off of there. Ugh, damn. All right, I'm going to run this out and then spray some cleaner and shit in there. See what that looks like. Phone's blowing up. Okay. All right, so that's a little cruddy, but not bad. We're going to clean that hole out. Put this back in and see if we can get it to adjust now without the stop on there because you're real limited to how much you can open and close this high uh, the high-end valve or the high-end idle whatever you know what I'm saying you're real limited to what you can do with that so now we're unlimited we're gonna spray it out clean it out 
try it again and see what happens. What I'm going to do is tighten it in all the way and then back it off about a turn and start from there. We'll see what happens. All right. <clears throat> so here was the ultimate fix. Hit the camera with my hat. Okay. So the high end adjuster is right here. It's idling fine, so that adjuster there we didn't have to mess with. But this one here, the high end adjuster, uh, I broke off the little guard thing on there that only gave us limited adjustment, pulled the screw all the way out, cleaned out the hole, cleaned out the port, put it back in, adjusted it to the point where it would run good at high idle, and let's see, I'll show that it works. Idles. And it works so that was really it folks I mean we really didn't even have to take the whole thing apart uh, I did anyways but uh, really didn't have to so we could put it back together uh, I do recommend pulling the carb off and checking that one little screen area because those do get full of shit and uh, they do need to be cleaned out periodically so but uh, in this case it was just pulling that high idle or high rev adjuster off and uh, it wasn't even the adjuster itself it was more so the uh, ability to be able to adjust it the little stopper on there so pull that off and uh, I think we would have got the adjustment out of it without even taking it off and cleaning it out so you know do with that what you will but we had a blower that wasn't working it's working now and you saw how it was done you saw how I did it and I keep hitting the damn thing with my hat so there you go. You know how it comes apart. You know it doesn't have to come apart. Whatever. I gotta go. Adios.